You wouldn't get into a stranger's car late at night. And perhaps you should think twice about jumping into an Uber pool ride. Because you never know who you might be sitting next to. On this night, it was a passenger who turned on the poor driver, Abdul. What a panel beater. Get away from him. I was just thinking, we've got to get out of here. This guy's off his chops. Causing a rideshare ruckus. He again started punching at me. I'm trying to stop him. From Uber Pool to Uber Tool. I'm hearing about the altercation with the Uber driver at the weekend. Oh, I'm not going to deal with this, mate. This punchy passenger's blown a gasket. What? He assaulted me as well. Hey, look, can, hey, can I see that, Bruce? That's right. Late night ride sharing can be hit and miss. But this Uber pool lift, where strangers share the ride and cost, was a trip of terror for pool passenger Liam. Yeah, it was intense, yeah. And Uber driver Abdul. I was scared. Because someone's lost their cool in the pool. You dumbass! I'm trying to get home. Leave my car. Yeah, you want to. Otherwise, have to go. I'm calling the cops. This rough rider booked an Uber with Abdul early Sunday morning when the rideshare headquarters added another rider to the pool. We'll get to Chatswood, bro. No. That's what I paid for. That's Liam joining the journey home across the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Abdul's dash cam is rolling as his original passenger revs up over Liam's pickup. You are running around being a head when I paid for you to go to Chatswood. Abdul's had enough. Get out of my car. Get out no, of my no, car. No, no, no. Get out of my car. Get out of Where's my car. Where's your weapon, brother? The situation accelerates. Listen, Listen I chose not to hit you then, right? You know how easy it is for me? I've done nothing but trying to get home. This is Uber pool. I'm That's not... how it was. Because I looked around and he starts looking at me. I think, oh, I don't want to get into this. Go call the cops, you fat little Le yeah, you fat little get out. You wanna with me? Then, alleged backseat biffo. Oh, yeah? 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 You wanna punch me? You mother You wanna fight me? The guy just started getting real arced up and angry, and his partner got out of the car, but he just stayed in there, started arguing, and then started throwing punches at him. From the back seat? From the back seat, yeah. You wanna oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of my way, You wanna have a fight? You wanna punch me? You, you wanna fight me? He was punching me. I was trying to push him, but there is not much space. Yeah. I cannot defend myself. Uh, so I went out. When I was leaving my car, I just fell down on the road. The peeved off passenger gets out too. Get back in the car. Oi, get back in the car. Both men collide on camera, stopping traffic. Abdul's wearing the white hoodie. Why did you fight back? Because I had no option. I was uh, trying to stop him. I was pushing him, pushing him back, but he was continuously attacking me. He punched me back on my neck, on my uh, on my back, on my head. Bro, come on, come. Get back in the car, it's better. Bro, bro, just get back in the car. Pool passenger Liam then comes face to face with a bonnet basher. Bro, are you alright? No. That was <laughs> Do you know what his name was? We do, and swung round for a chat. G'day, how you going? Good, how it's the runner, Steve Marshall from The Current Affair. How you going? Good, how are you? I'm hearing about the altercation with the Uber driver at the weekend. Oh, I'm not going to deal with this, mate. And you looked a bit angry. Don't inside. Were you angry, mate? I was thinking about my family. Because if anything happens to me, my no one has any impact on their life except my family. Hey, what? He assaulted me as well. Hey, look, can, hey, can I see that, Bruce? Don't That's inside. right. No, oh, I think so. My dash cam footage does, doesn't lie. He's coming, he's coming. Dude, seriously. You've got his name, you've got his name. All right, we'll call the cops. Mate, did you really need to get, get involved? Did you, did you really need to run? Can I see? Me first. Is this like the victim or is Abdul the driver the victim? Abdul the driver. Thank goodness Liam was in the car. Yeah. 
Yes. And he was also a very big help. He was calming me down. Abdul called the police. He says officers never showed. So he drove to the station to file a report. So what do you want the police to do? They need to bring that person um, to the justice. If sporting bruises, grazes and a ruined bonnet isn't enough, Uber has also pulled the handbrake on Abdul. It's refusing to let him earn money from ridesharing until it's completed its own investigation. And HQ hasn't given Abdul any indication how long that will take. Rents are so high. Um, and Uber is, uh, at the moment, it's the only source of um, my earning. This fender bender reflecting the high risk, high reward stakes of catching Uber pool. Oh, geez. I don't know, eh? It's kind of luck of the draw, isn't it? Do you really need to rough them up? Well, we went back to Uber to argue Abdul's case and he's back driving. As for our angry passenger, he's never catching an Uber again. He's been banned for life.